Hello. I uh, thought I'd do another vlog. Um, I'm feeling quite good, to be honest with you. My appetite's getting built back up, bit by bit. I've been able to eat. Um, and I've been able to drink as well. Um, I've been taking um, on Dancitron tablets and they've been working brilliant for me. Really have. You know, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I still get the sicky feeling. The feeling and the, you know, I'm going to vomit feeling. And I do vomit. But it's not as bad as what it has been. Um, yesterday was my best day for a while, absolute while, you know, I, um, I haven't felt good like that for a while. I even managed to have Lisa over and watch a movie. I'm, I'm quite shocked that I slept after that movie actually. Um, so yeah, it's all back to normal tomorrow as well. School. Your parents will know what I'm talking about. It's um, it's, it'll be nice to get back into routine and chill out and everything. I'm having a bit of a sweaty moment as well, a bit of a hot flush moment. So I've come upstairs to sit on the bed and try and get the cold part of the covers on me. Um, so far I'm struggling. Oh, pardon me. Um, I've got my radiotherapy a little bit later tomorrow, it's at 10.30. Which is good, because it means I don't have to leave at stupid clock in the morning. And I get to say goodbye to the girls before they go to school. Um... I've just got a two Tuesdays of chemo left, two weeks of chemo, two sessions, just two, not two weeks worth, two sessions worth of chemo left, which uh, it's all right. I'm a bit pale looking today though. I don't know why. I'm feeling a bit queasy at the moment because I'm having this hot flush. It's not nice. And as always, and as always, Lindy's here. Sorry, I knocked the um, the off button then and stopped the video. So I just start it back up. Um, I uh, have a very good feeling that all the cancer treatment's working now. Because when I first started the cancer treatment, I was on four different painkillers. So I'm Zoom Off, Zappin, Ibuprofen and Oromoff. Now I'm only on Zoom Off and I don't need any other painkiller to get me through the day. Which is quite good really, it's lovely. I'm sorry I'm so tired. Um, yeah so I've got a scan on Friday so we'll see how that scan goes. I'm hoping that it, um, it comes back with good news. I'm going to be positive and say it will come back with good news because even I can tell there's a difference in everything and how I'm feeling and everything. Um, so, oh God, tonight is an early night. I'm going to go to chemo tomorrow. I'm going to lie on the bed. With Mindy Moves. <coughs> oh. Yeah, chemo tomorrow. Then, not chemo tomorrow, sorry, radiotherapy tomorrow, not chemo. And chemo on Tuesday. And scan on Friday. That's how it's all going. Um. <sighs> yeah, I am nervous for the scan, I'm not going to lie. It's um, 
it is a scary time knowing whether your cancer is going or whether it's just shifted to a different part of your body or whatever. It does, it does leave you scared, I'm not going to lie. But I'm being positive. And I think that me being positive throughout all of this treatment has helped it maybe work a bit better. Because I've always tried my best to see the positive side of things when I've been sick. Oh, it's just, you know, <laughs> two minutes, guys. Sorry, my um, storage had completely overfilled. I had to go and delete a load of pictures, a load of videos and everything like that, a load of documents and everything. Um, yeah, so I'm over halfway for my treatment. Quite proud of myself. Um, school starts back tomorrow, so that's going to make everything a whole lot easier because I'll get home and I can have a nap on the sofa rather than disappear upstairs because there'll be more room for me. Because I don't particularly like coming to sleep on the bed in the afternoons. I don't like... You know, because I tend to sleep a bit longer if I'm in the bed, I don't know why. Um, so, I much prefer sleeping on the sofa. Um, yeah. The, the one thing throughout all this treatment that has really got to me, really upset me, is um, my lack of ability to be a parent. Oh, I know that sounds silly and some people are going to say, oh, don't be silly. But I've not been able to be 100% a parent. I've not been able to cook nourishing meals. I've not been able to do a lot for the girls. Um, and that has left me feeling like a bit of a shit mother. You know, um, I have tried my best to be there for my girls. I've tried my best to do as much for them as I can. But I have physically struggled to be able to cook wholesome meals for them. Um, also, for, mainly down to the, the fact that I felt so sick and so worn out and everything. So I can't wait until the chemo's over so I can start cooking them nice meals. Their favourite is spaghetti bolognese. And they like um, casserole, chicken casserole. Mins likes chicken casserole because she gets some at the end, don't you, Mindy? Seen her. Oh, good job, kitty smile. What? Not cuddle. That's it now. My hand's been taken prisoner. She's holding my hand. Look. Yeah, um, so I can't wait till I can start cooking their favourite meals. And I, I personally enjoy cooking as well. I love cooking, I love making recipes up, I love um, making wholesome meals for my children that I know are going to help them in development. But I've not felt like I've done that recently. You know, so that's left me feeling a bit... I'm a bit low and upset, if I'm to be honest. You know, I've just wanted to be a good mum and there's been days where I've not been able to get my head off the pillow. And that's that's chemo and radio and everything for you. But I have, and I won't lie, I have pushed myself to get out of bed and to, to do the things that I've needed to do with my girls. I've pushed myself to go on days out. Um, but we have said that we're going to make a lot more memories this winter and the, the, the things that happen in the winter rather than, um, you know, we're going to forget about this summer holidays, we're going to forget about all the stuff that happened, all that, and we're going to start afresh making new memories this winter. You know, we've got um, Halloween, 
Menno Bridge Fair, Bonfire Night, all stuff like that. And, you know, we can make brilliant memories with that and that's what our plan is to do that. Um, you know, I'm, I've always said that I won't let cancer beat me and I think, I'd like to think that I'm doing a damn good job of fighting it. Um, you know, I'm, You okay, Mindy Moose? Let me have a hand back. Yeah? No? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, um, you know, um, and I still stick to that. And it's not a case of letting cancer beat me as in illness, of course. It, you know, cancer, I, I can't turn around and say that I can beat the symptoms of the treatment, you know. I can try, but what I mean when I say is I'm not going to let cancer beat me is I'm not going to let cancer bring my, uh, sorry Mindy, my personality down. You know, uh, I'd like to think that cancer has brought my personality down. I'm still oh, the same person that I, I am before, only I've, I didn't have much of a fuse before, I've got a little bit less of a fuse now. But I'd like to think that it hasn't destroyed my personality. Two seconds. Sorry, I was just uh, checking up on Ira. Um, yeah, I, I won't let cancer um, hurt my personality or destroy my personality. I'm still going to be the chirpy person that you know that won't let anything get to her. Um, I'm looking forward to Halloween though, because I love making cakes for my girls. Will you stop that, Mindy? She keeps on knocking my phone. Little Miss Innocent, yeah? Yeah? A big yawn. Your breath smells like cat food, Mindy. Mindy. Mindy Moose. Your breath smells like cat food. Yeah? Yeah, um, I love um, Halloween because I love making cakes with my girls and we make like Rice Krispie cakes and we decorate them all spooky and I don't care what anyone says, I do decorate the front of my house for Halloween. I put spooky stuff in the window and all stuff like that. Oh, oh Matter. She just wants to touch mummy. Eh? Okay. Um, I do... I do like decorating up, decorating up for Halloween. You know, it's just making memories for the girls as well. You know, the girls will never look back in 20 years time and remember how much mum spent in the shop on her. But she will remember how much mum took time out to decorate the house ready for Halloween or you know, decorate the house ready for Christmas. And, and I like stuff like that. And all fingers crossed, I should be okay back further then but for bonfire night we're going to try and do a little bonfire night in our own garden little hot dogs burgers chips stuff like that you know because i might not be able to go and walk on that big field and it might be cold it might be too cold for me i'm gonna suffer with the cold this year they've said so maybe doing a little bonfire in our own garden and um little fireworks display in our own garden it'll it'll be good but i'm moidering on about things now i'm getting excited for but you've got to understand if you had the summer that i've had with the opportunities that i've lost last summer we went to so many places we went to tow in um did no Snowdonia, uh, the Comic Cons, we went to so much different things and this year we only got to do one or two things because I couldn't get out and about and do them. You know, Sam did know we used to go pretty, quite often, you know, even if it was only for a walk on the pier and chips by the pier, we used to go. It's a lot of stuff that the girls have missed out on this year and I'm, I'm genuinely gutted that they've missed out on stuff. 
Um, it's horrible. But this autumn, winter, we're going to make the memories up. You know, we're going to take them to places. We're going to do stuff with them. And it's going to be lovely. Um, I had the results from my PET scan and quite shockingly I've got what they think is an overactive activity in my throat. This is, it's not cancer, they know it's not cancer. But when I explained that overactive thyroid runs in my family, they were like, oh right, it could be an overactive thyroid. Someone's pushing me, I swear. So that could be that. Um, I'm going on the 12th to see a doctor in Colwyn Bay to see if it is anything to do with an actor, a wreck of thyroid, or anything like that. Um, other than that, everything is fine. That there's no more cancer being found in my body other than my cervix and a couple of surrounding areas um, which is brilliant you know I am hoping and wishing and hoping that they give me a hysterectomy after this because yes people might say oh there's no point they've done all the treatment there is a point I opted to not save my ovaries I opted not to save anything to have future children because I have got four beautiful daughters already, you know, and I wouldn't jeopardise having another child. And maybe the cancer coming back to have another child for them not to be able to see me for the rest of my life. So I'm hoping that they'll give me a hysterectomy because there's no need for what everything, whatever works in there. There's no need for it to be there. And it would be helping me and, and also helping, because as I've said before, I suffer quite highly with anxiety. And I know that once I get the all clear, I'm going to panic and worry that it's going to come back. I'm going to want to be seen. Any little twinge, any little pain, any little back pain is going to make me think that the cancer is coming back. So if they gave me a hysterectomy, that would take all that suspicion and worry away. I know that some people might say, oh, that sounds very stupid, Natalie. In my eyes, that's how I feel. That's what I want to do to secure my own peace of mind as well. So I'm gonna ask for that afterwards as well. She's still hugging my arm here. Hey. Little miss is in the bath and she's having a hissy fit for daddy. I think it's time to wash her hair. So for now, I'm gonna leave you be for today. Obviously, because the girls are going back to school, I'll have more time to blog during the day. So I'll be able to blog more. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.